Hello? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Today, another physics problem that deals with simple harmonic motion. Simple harmonic motions are everywhere in physics. This one is not the easiest case of a simple harmonic motion. It's not like having a spring, massless spring, with a little mass m at the end. That's an easy solution, right? No, this is a little more difficult, but many of you have asked me to occasionally put in the problem that is a little difficult. I wouldn't say this is very difficult, but yes, it's a little difficult. You ready? There we go. Here is a hollow cylinder with radius capital R. And here is a solid cylinder with mass m and radius r, little r. And the mass density is everywhere the same, so uniformly distributed throughout that cylinder. I take this cylinder into my hand and I put it in this position where it's now. I hold it still and I pull my hands off. This object will start to roll down and come here to a halt and then it will go back here and it will oscillate back and forth. And as it rolls down in this direction it will rotate this way and if it rolls uphill it will rotate this way. Also when it rolls downhill it will rotate this way. Therefore, there must be friction between this small cylinder and the inner surface of the last one. Because only friction can torque the small disk up and can torque it down. However, since it is in pure roll, the friction is large enough, I can guarantee you that, that it is in pure roll. You can think of the surface of it to be a very thin layer of rubber, or you can think of the whole disk being made of rubber. It surely would go into pure roll. So that friction is necessary to torque up and to torque down. But since it's pure roll, there is no slip. And if there is no slip, no energy will be converted to heat. So keep that in mind. You do need friction, otherwise it won't go into pure roll and stay into pure roll, but you lose no energy to heat. Okay. If this maximum angle, which I will call theta zero, I call the angle between the vertical and this line theta, if that maximum angle is theta zero, and if theta zero is small, we call that small angle approximation, then the motion of the center of this disk back and forth will be a simple harmonic motion. And that simple harmonic motion will have a frequency which in general in simple harmonic motions, we call that omega cosine times omega t. Or sine of cosine, the sine of omega t. So, the question now is how small is a small angle? Well, remember when we derived the period of a pendulum length L with a mass at the end, we also assumed small angle approximation. And then we found that in our differential equations we can replace the sine of theta by theta in radians. How accurate is that? Well, let me give you some numerical examples. If theta zero were one degree, the difference between the sine of one degree and one degree in radians 
is 0.06%. <laughs> Quite accurate, right? If theta zero were 5 degrees, the difference between the sine of 5 degrees and 5 degrees in radians is 0.1%. If theta zero were as large, I already begin to use the word large, as large as 10 degrees, then the difference between the sine of 10 degrees and 10 degrees in radius is still only 0.5%, only half a percent. So, assume small angle approximation. And solve for the angular frequency omega. I will probably post all incorrect solutions and probably none of the correct solutions. As I said before, it's not the easiest problem about a simple harmonic motion. Because now we have a rolling object that itself rolls along a curved circumference of another hollow cylinder. All right, have a nice day. Try your best. If you can't solve it, that's perfectly okay. I will post the solutions in general on a Saturday, the day after I post the problem. Take care and still try to be friends with me. <laughs>